Come on, Kenny. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda, and and this is Ken, and it looks like it's gonna be a busy morning here on the farm. Just getting everybody watered and brushed this morning. Um, there's quite a few things on the lineup to, today. Um, first of all, we've got to get everybody brushed. And Jim wondered if I could get Ken's whiskers trimmed under his chin. So I've got to remember to do that. But um, <coughs> Jim's um, waiting the log truck driver is coming this morning to pick up a load of firewood to deliver to someone and then he wants to go with him and get uh, show him show him the lot that he wants to be working on next and make sure he can get in there with a log truck so he's going to be going with him and doing that we've got some hay down Jim's going to be tedding the hay when the dew comes off he's probably going to use um, Ken to cultivate cultivate the garden today with a single horse cultivator and he wants to get into the field and use the two horse cultivator too, the cornfield. Come on up oh, fuck. Get in your stall. You naughty boy. Come back here, you naughty. Come on. Buck was trying to pull a fast one on me, trying to scoot on by. Um, and uh, we got some gravel put in our driveway and we may be getting another load of that. We've got someone coming for hay today. We've just got all kinds of things going on. This time of year, there's just so many things going on. Um, but just come along with us today. I hope you enjoy little snapshots of what's going to happen today. I can't even tell you exactly for sure what, what, what's going to happen, but that's the way every day seems to be here lately, this time of year, the busiest time of the year. Kenny, you gonna let me trim your whiskers? Mm. You're so sweet. You're even gonna stop chewing for me? That's very sweet.
Okay. Are you good with it? Looks good, Kenny. Looks really good. So Jim thinks he's got time before the trucker gets here for the firewood to go get a load of logs, a load of firewood to finish up an order he has that he was he promised last summer, I mean last winter. Bye, see you in a bit. So he's got Buck and Bill and he's gonna go and quickly get that before the trucker gets here, he hopes. And he's planning on using all four horses today in some capacity. Oh, I think over here are the colts. They're not really colts anymore, but let's see. Oh yeah, there they are. First I I saw the cows and I thought they were the colts and now here are the colts. All three of the boys together here. We'll see how this all goes. They've been out to this big pasture for a couple days now. And we'll see how Farron does with the fence and these horses. I think Duke and Earl are gonna respect the fence. Hi, boys. Baron, are you gonna be a hothead or are you gonna be all right? Seems to be finding his way around this pasture and knowing where he can go. Baron, don't go that way though. Good boy. Oh, there's a path through these bamboo things. What a glorious morning it is. So Jim's coming across the field, but I wanted to show you my walkway for my garden. I always have trouble with weeds growing up in it. I've tried a lot of different things, but today I think I'm gonna put down some of that crusher run stone that we got and put, the, uh, put down some cloth first and then put that and see if I can keep the weeds out of there and then put the stones back on. But it's a lovely time in the garden and we'll be showing you more of that later. But I can see Jim crumbing across the field. Well, that didn't take long. How did it go? Pretty good. With a large dog cut, it doesn't take too long to skid them out and load them up. So we'll unload this. Go get my wagon out of the way so the trucker get back in here because he's coming today. And uh, uh, so this will be ready to go for the next day that I go out to the woods and the trucker can get some logs.
about a half hour after Jim got back with this load, the trucker called and said that he had some breakdowns, so he wouldn't be able to show up today. He'll be coming tomorrow. But it did give Jim a good early start on the day, and it really didn't take him very long to get this load of logs. Okay, I had a breakdown here. These are mechanical guys. I had something wrong with my wheel. It was pretty rigid and it was spinning on me for some reason, so I went and picked it up with the kids here, and the wheel dropped right off, and this, the whole thing is starting to slide down. You can see the gears right here. Right here. So that's supposed to be tight up into the air, so we got to figure this problem out. All right, well, stay tuned on this problem situation. Days just don't go as planned many times. So I got the garden path cleared out. I took out the old stones and I had some ag bag plastic underneath, which works amazing. It's been there for quite a few years and it doesn't decompose or anything. But it just didn't work with um, just putting mulch on top. That's why I'm gonna try this crusher run and my walking stones. Well, Jim called over and said he needed my help. So I went over to help him and in the process of it all, I forgot to turn on the audio. So you can watch and see what we're doing and Jim will share what we're doing. Okay, so what happened with my tether? There was one roller pin that held the tire on, the axle on, and the whole um, spinning apparatus here. And so that broke and so the tire fell off and then everything else fell off also. So we are sliding it back up into place, which took a little wiggling to get it to, to come up through, but we finally got that up into place. And then I took a strap and strapped it up there. So it stayed in place while I attempted to get the wheel back on. I'm glad I had my skids there to hold this up because it would have been hard otherwise. But we finally got the wheel back in place and it used to, like I said, I had a roller pin and I didn't have one so I just used a bolt and put the bolt in the hole and put a lock nut on and we're back in business. So now we have to we get this crusher run on our driveway. We will head to Ted and some hay with the horses. So the tether seemed to work fine and the horses worked pretty good. Yesterday I had brought just Bill out and tethered the field all by himself yesterday and I'll show you a little clip of myself doing that. One horse works really good to ted hay with but I'm just not really happy with the way my shafts go into this cart. It just tips it back too much. I know of several things I can do to fix it, but I, I just gotta do it. Until then, I'll probably use the team more often than not. We did get a little bit of rain on this hay the other day and of course that's making it a little bit browner than I'd like it to be. I really like to have nice green hay but sometimes you get a little bit wet but it won't hurt it too bad because it got wet in the early part of the drying process. So Brenda's walking here so I asked her if she wanted to get on and ride with me. And so. That's what she's doing here. 
I can't work her too hard, you know. I, I'll get in trouble if I make her walk too much. We've had such a wet stretch. Everybody in our community is very behind on their haying. And this clover off to our left was is my new seeding from last year. And it's beautiful stuff. And I need to have that all round baled and wrapped. And my neighbor will do it, but he's so busy doing his own stuff, he just doesn't have time to do it yet. But we'll get it done eventually. Well, it is almost lunchtime now. And as soon as I finish this field, I'm gonna go in to eat. I was hoping to show you a bunch more stuff on this video, but we're just running out of time. So we're just going to have to wait and make another video. So you guys have a great day. We'll see you next time quite soon. Thanks for watching.